Right now, there seems to be a race of building the highest power density electric motor for aircraft. Wright Electric is currently leading the forefront with their 2.5 megawatt unit, and it tops around 16 kilowatts per kilogram. H3X is also claimed to be in the megawatt game with their 1.5 megawatt variant weighing in at around 130 kilograms or 300 pounds. They also claim to reach around 16 kilowatts per kilogram, which would obviously be peak power, not continuous, but they even go into crazy mode and claim that they can reach nine megawatts using stackable units. So is there any point to building these ultra powerful motors? Well, it depends on the application because there's different purposes in which you can retrofit the motor to a propulsion system. The first one is actually utilizing the electric motor for propulsion itself. This either can be done as a direct drive or through a gear case and driving a propeller. However, this type of system is dependent on batteries. And right now, batteries have about 25 times less energy density than jet fuel. So there is an immediate scalability problem and the aircraft would be limited in size. But even if you had your futurist hat on and you believe that batteries are going to close this energy density gap, it would still be at a disadvantage for the duration of the flight because for every mile, the battery weight is closely remaining the same, but a jet field aircraft is losing its weight over the duration of the flight and therefore it's increasing its efficiency. But there's also other inherent problems like the landing gear and the braking system would have to accommodate for all this extra battery weight. So electric VTOLs and STOLs may make sense at a smaller scale, but when you get into the larger aircraft, it becomes very problematic. However, there is a counter argument to all of this, and that is that the efficiency of an electric motor is superior to a turbofan especially at certain stages of the flight. Modern turbofans are built to optimize the acceleration of incoming air, and they are subjected to dimensions and RPM of the compressor shaft. So there's less control and higher drag losses. So regardless if you have an efficient high bypass fan or a high performance low bypass fan, you still have the same inherent problem. So the main question to all this is, can you incorporate the electric motor into the jet engine to make it more efficient? And there are projects such as the high tech, which is looking into incorporating the electric motor so that it can control the compressor and there would be an increase in efficiency in certain stages of the flight, including taxiing. But another company has come up with a different idea and they went to the extreme where they are completely breaking the jet engine apart. This idea is probably blockbuster and there's definitely financing involved with this kind of thing. But it is interesting because it can increase fuel efficiency without having a hefty battery system, yet it would also enable supersonic flight. So the key to all of this is that they are utilizing an extra component called the turbo generator. This is basically a micro turbine that is connected to a generator to provide power. With this extra supplied power, you can have a motor running the compressor and you would be able to control the amount of air coming in independently of the exhaust flow. Mode 1 would utilize the electric motor without active combustion for ground operations and subsonic flight. Mode 2 includes combustion, pushing the aircraft past Mach 1. Mode 3 would enable a ramjet to go beyond Mach 3. The company is claiming that this type of turboelectric adaptive engine can increase a supersonic aircraft like the Concorde's range by 61%. Yet, it could run on a diversity of fuels including LNG or synthetic methane. However, this is a very intriguing idea because a turbo generator can essentially run on the same fuel as the jet engine and you can bypass the disadvantage of a heavy battery system. However, there are a lot of questions remaining on the size of turbo generator you'd need as well as how would the ramjet be incorporated in this type of engine. The market they are targeting is also potentially limited as you would need an aircraft that can mitigate the sonic boom in populated areas of the world. There's a couple of other projects which are interesting as well. The VH from Vertical is another hybrid contender. It features a medium bypass turbofan for cruising, yet it can transform into a full power generator when thrust is not needed. 
Now this might not be beneficial for a conventional aircraft like a 737, but it could be useful for something like an electric VTOL with high cruising speeds. We have already seen prototypes like the Cavert X5, which can vertically take off, morph its wings for aerodynamic efficiency. It essentially closes the electric motors off and then utilizes a pusher prop for faster speeds. So an aircraft like this could benefit from a hybrid turbofan power generator. So far, Vertical has built several prototypes, including a 400 kilowatt variant, and they plan to build a megawatt variant in the very near future. Ultimately, we are looking at different converging technologies, which may make electric aircraft feasible. We are starting to see high power density motors being released to the market, and they could be a direct drive, but in different circumstances, they could be even incorporated into the jet engine itself. Furthermore, we are starting to see the emergence of turbo generators for electric aircraft, such as the Rolls-Royce and the Honeywell. And finally, there are different outside solutions, which can transform the turbofan into a power generator. In conclusion, there are different approaches in utilizing electric motors in the aircraft. And in the future, it might be able to be implemented at a smaller scale. But these systems are probably not going to supplement a GE90 and a 777 anytime soon. More importantly, I would like to know what you think about these emerging technologies. So please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.